all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. Now before we get into the news today, which is going to be pretty much all Marvel related, I wanted to just go update you guys on a couple of things going on. So first of all, I wanted to let you know if you're not already aware that we have nominations open for the 2018 TNI Toy Awards. So we're doing this a little bit differently this year, where basically we decided to let you guys, the consumers, the readers, what have you, uh, pick the nominations that will be, then be voted upon, again, by you guys. So this is kind of like the people's choice for action figures. And we've got various categories, best six inch action figure, best toy line of the year, best play set, you know, a, a whole list of, of categories. We've even created a few new categories this year, including things like best toy photographer of the year and best toy reviewer of the year. So if you're into toy photography yourself or you do toy reviews here on YouTube, then you can even nominate yourself if you want to. There will be actual awards given out for these. Now, for like the toy companies and stuff, most of those will be handed out at, at Toy Fair in February. But if you're not somebody who attends Toy Fair, then, you know, you would have the option if you won to have the award mailed to you. So um, all nominations, um, which you have until the end of this month to put in your nominations. And again, if, if you're like a toy reviewer or something, you can even nominate yourself. And then we will start the voting process, uh, which will run through January, and then we will announce the winners in February. And if you're not attending Toy Fair, if you're like a toy reviewer who's not attending Toy Fair, then you will have the option, if you win, to have the award actually mailed out to you. So I will put a link to uh, where the nominations are going and all the specific details. Again, you do have to be a registered member of the TNI message boards in order to participate. But that to, if you haven't already done that, it takes you two seconds. It's not a big deal. And, you know, if you want to, you know, give input on the best toys and everything of this year, you know, now's your chance. And then the other thing I just want to give you a quick update on, I will probably get one more video out this week. I picked up the recent uh, Venom DVD movie, which has the action figure. I don't know how well you can see it. Lighting is not. But uh, this is, I th as far as I know, of the only Venom, actual Venom movie figure that's been made. I'm not entirely sure who's, this is, looks like it's about a three and, uh, three and a quarter inch or four inch figure. And it does have articulation. I'm not sure if this is a Hasbro figure or what. I haven't actually opened it yet. I do, uh, but I am going to open it up and, and probably do a quick review um, later this week or early next week. And that will probably be my final video until uh, next year. Um, I'm going to be uh, spending some time with family and stuff for the holidays. You know, we've got Christmas next week, and then that goes straight into New Year's. Now, I might crank out one another news video if there is happen. Usually not a lot happens during this uh, time between Christmas and New Year's, so I'm not really expecting a whole lot of major breaking news. If there is something, then, then I might get a news video cranked out. But uh, pretty much, um, I, I, as far as reviews and everything goes, uh, I'm going to be uh, wrapping things up with this Venom figure uh, for the year. So the first bit of news I wanted to share with you guys is this week we got official images for all the figures in the upcoming Marvel Legends 6 inch Captain Marvel wave. This is the Kree Sentry Build-A-Figure wave. The Kree Sentry is based from the comics. This wave also includes two comic book based figures and the rest are all based on the Captain Marvel movie. So just to recap, this uh, wave includes uh, Captain Marvel, uh, Brie Larson in her red and blue outfit. This is going to come with a masked and unmasked head, and that figure does not have any Build-A-Figure piece. So that's probably going to be one of the figures that is two per case. Then we're getting Captain, another Captain Marvel figure, this time with short hair, wearing the bomber jacket. This is the one that was just released like or announced a week ago, and she's going to come with her cat goose and will come with the left arm for the Build-A-Figure. Then we're getting the young Nick Fury, and Nick Fury is going to come with the right arm for the Build-A-Figure, and then he's going to have uh, a little miniature cat that's in handcuffs and everything, which is probably an alien in disguise, but we'll have to wait and see you know, how they play it in the movie. But definitely it looks like some kind of alien. Maybe not a scroll, I don't know, but, but, but definitely some kind of little alien in disguise as Captain Marvel's cat, I guess. 
Then we're getting Talos, the scroll, and it does not look like he comes with any accessories for himself. He does come with one of the legs for the Build-A-Figure, but no kind of shape-shifting uh, accessory or anything, unfortunately. We're getting the, the Captain Marvel uh, movie Star Force Commander, and we did actually not get any updated images for this one, no package images. I'm not sure why. I'm wondering if this is going to have some kind of alternate army builder head, which um, we're getting a female version kind of, which I'll get to in a moment. And then uh, the two comic book based figures in this wave are the Genesis Fail, which has the leg, the other leg for the build a figure, and a blaster and gray gargoyle, which does not look like has any accessories other than the build a figure head. And that wave is going to be out in January, or at least by, I say, technically it's supposed to be released in January, and the last release date I had was around January 15th, but, you know, that's subject to change, and a lot of times these can get out early, you know, leak out early, or, or show up overseas early, so I'm going to say these are due out by January, and I would say probably by January 15th, but, you know, we could feasibly uh, see them any time before that between now and, and January 15th but the actual release date being listed is January and what I was told was January 15th. While we're on the subject of Captain Marvel we also got a couple of announcements for two store exclusives for for the Captain Marvel movie so both of these are single pack releases so the first one that we're getting is Captain Marvel with the powered up effects now, they're calling this uh, version binary, which in the comics is when uh, Captain Marvel had her memory wiped by Rogue and became this kind of energy force being. So it didn't really look like this. Uh, didn't When she was binary in the comics, she didn't really wear the Captain Marvel uh, outfit and everything. But, but this version, I don't know if they're actually going to call her binary in the movie or what have you. But essentially, it's a powered up version. It's got the red and blue outfit. It's got two alternate heads, again, an unmasked and a masked head. So this has the translucent hair. This is what I was kind of thinking was going to be the alternate head sculpt for the regular version. But it looks like they're doing it as a store exclusive. And this figure is going to be exclusive to Walmart. So if you want to get this one, and to me, this one actually looks cooler than, than the regular release version. So I'll probably end up getting both. But if I had to choose one, I, I might go with this one. Assuming I could find it of course because my Walmart never has anything um, my best bet would probably be once you know if Walmart puts it up on their website you know to try and grab it there but but again that figure is going to be a Walmart exclusive and then the second one is Captain Marvel in her green Star Force outfit now this one is going to be a Target store exclusive it's chalked with a number of accessories so this one basically again has the masked and unmasked head sculpts for Captain Marvel herself but then this also comes with uh, Minerva uh, alternate head sculpt. And the idea, what it looks like here is this is, you know, so you can make this kind of a Cree army builder for, for a female, you know, character. And you get a weapon and some various other accessories with the figure. So, you know, it's kind of a cool idea. I'm wondering, you know, going back to the, the Star Force commander in the regular wave, I'm wondering if they're not going to do something similar uh, with that one. And maybe that's why they haven't released the package image yet. I, I don't know. That's just a complete guess on my part. But it would be kind of a cool idea if they did that. So you could army build both male and female versions of the Kree army. Now, both of these figures are, again, slated with a January release date. I don't have any kind of specific release date on either one of those. If uh, if I had to guess, we'll probably see the Target one first. Walmart, you know, I wouldn't even be surprised if we don't start seeing it Walmart until February. They can sometimes be slow with their exclusives, so we'll just have to wait and see. But, but Hasbro is listing these with a January release date, so that's when we'll probably start to see them. And also, for those of you overseas, you know, these will probably be released in other ways besides just Walmart and, and Target. It looked like some images of these two figures leaked out early yesterday and they look like in hand images so it may be that they've already started to show up someplace so I, I don't know but here again here in the United States the the Star Force commander is going to be a Target exclusive and the binary figure is going to be a Walmart exclusive now Diamond Select Toys is going to be getting in on the action with Captain Marvel as well now it looks like they're only doing one figure for this movie and it's Captain Marvel herself 
Now, we don't have an actual image of the figure. Uh, we just have the blacked out image. But based on the description, it looks like I, I'm not, they're calling it Star Force. So I don't know if that means this is going to be uh, a version of Captain Marvel in the green outfit or if they're just referencing the outfit in general as the blue and, and red one. I would think they would do, if they're only doing one figure, I would think they would do it in the classic blue and red but I'm not entirely sure. But this is going to be a 17 or 17, a seven inch scale figure. It's going to have about 16 points of articulation. And at least based on this blacked out image, it looks like it's going to be an unmasked head sculpt, though. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up doing an alternate store, you know, Disney store exclusive version with the, the masked head or something. That's what they do a lot of times. You'd think they just just include the alternate head and maybe they will. But but if they do an alternate head, my guess is they'll do it as a second figure as probably a Disney store exclusive. So that figure right now at least is slated with a May 2019 release date. And if you're a Mini Mate fan, Diamond Select Toys is also doing a box set for Captain Marvel from the movie. And this set is going to feature Captain Marvel. And based on these images, at least, it does not look like there'll be a masked head with that one. She's wearing the bomber jacket. They're doing a scroll that they're calling Nero. And then they're doing Minerva, a female Kree. And then a male Kree that they're calling Atlas. So um, it's a, a four-figure box set. And that should be out in that May time frame as well. Okay, and then the final bit of information, just a brief update. A lot of you have been asking, when will we start to see the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Kingpin Build-A-Figure wave? Now, that wave has already started to show up in the Philippines. You may have seen the in-hand images we posted the other day on Marvelous News. Those come from the Philippines, so, um, you know, they have started to actually show up. You know, again, these things always seem to show up over someplace overseas before they do here in the United States. As for when we will see them here in the United States, best information I was given was by the 1st of January. But honestly, we could see them sooner and maybe even a little bit later. But I would you know, expect to start seeing them around that January 1st time frame. Um, and then, you know, as we get into January, they will start showing up in full force. You know, the, these, you know, it's not like these things just drop all at once um, on a specific day. So, um, but best date I can give you is around January 1st. But of course, we could see them a little bit sooner or maybe a little bit later. And of course, like I said, that wave is actually already starting to show up in the Philippines now. Okay, so that's it for the news today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything we talked about. Now, as I mentioned before, this is probably gonna be my last main video. I will try and get a quick uh, review of this Venom figure, this Venom movie figure that came in the Walmart exclusive DVD that is out now. And, but other than that, unless there's some kind of major breaking news you know, over the course of the next week or so, this will probably be my last main video of the year. So again, I hope you guys all have a great holiday, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Also make sure it's a safe Happy New Year. I wanna make sure all you guys are back here watching videos in 2019. I do expect 2019 to be an exciting year in the world of action figures. So, and I also am gonna be ramping up the channel a bit more um, when we get into the new year. So hopefully you will stay tuned to the channel. Also head over to Toy News International and put in your nominations for best toys of 2018, best toy photographers, best toy reviewers, all that jazz. And then we will start the voting process on that in early January. And then we'll announce the winners in February. So again, there is a link to uh, that in the video description below. Please check it out. And until next time, guys. I will catch you later.